I decided to take a drive today in the interest of equal time. After looking over my first attempts at freelance internet journalism, I realized that downtown West Monroe deserved an unsolicited plug, just like the unsolicited plug I gave downtown Monroe in the previous report. Antique Alley was my destination. Once there, I encountered this little fella. Isn't he cute? It's easy to imagine his long-ago ancestor a hundred years ago barking down at the horses and buggies and occasional Model T. No asphalt then, no seawall either. Antique Alley is a beautiful place. So much to see. So much to do. So many choices. As a journalist, I started to write everything down, being very diligent, at least I hope so, but then things started to come at me, really really fast and the images they kept coming and coming I decided to take a drive to see if that helped but it really didn't and then the choices over and over and antique alley oh man what am I gonna do but then I had an idea I picked a business at random I walked inside I introduced myself to the owner and I asked a simple question show me what's the most interesting thing in this store ready to come to a good place okay let's hear it I designed and uh, built this little jewelry stand for my wife, she was wanting something to put her jewelry on and so she could look at it in the morning time and see what she wanted to wear. In fact, Bobby's wife loved it so much that he built another one and then more. And then he started selling them. Then he built this. And then he built this. And then he built this. Pretty soon, he had so much stuff that he opened this store in downtown West Monroe. So that, my friends, is Malcolm's Woodcrafts and Treasures on Antique Alley in West Monroe. The downtowns are great, no matter which side of the Washita River. So come on out and find out for yourself.